What's up everybody, I'm Hoops and Hip Hop. So I'm sure you all know that one of the funnest things to talk about every time we get a new generation of Pokemon is potential new evolutions. Everyone loves Eeveelution simply for the fact that there are still so many possibilities for new ones that haven't been used yet. Since we did not receive an Eeveelution in Gen 7, fans feel that it's a bit more likely that we will receive one in Gen 8, and given that we've always received new Eeveelutions in even-numbered generations, I could definitely see it happening. So in this video, we're going to be looking at the 5 most likely Eeveelutions for Generation 8. Now, keep in mind that these are in no particular order, and it's not a list of the ones I think would be the coolest, it's a list of what I think could most likely happen if we do actually get an evolution in the next generation. So, with all of the disclaimers out of the way, let's jump right into it. To start things off, I feel like a lot of what could happen here with new evolutions could very well be tied directly to Sylveon. The reason I say this despite the fact that Sylveon was introduced in Generation 6 is because she is the only evolution that has been introduced by herself, which is a really big deal. The types chosen to receive evolutions have always seemed to center around having a balance with one another, because almost every evolution that's been introduced has been introduced with another evolution that it's weak against to kind of keep it in check and vice versa. There isn't really any evolution that has a decided advantage over the rest, because the point is for you to pick the one you truly enjoy the most, instead of just picking the one that's the strongest. So, with this in mind, I think it's possible that we'll get a new evolution to balance out Sylveon's fairy type in the form of a poison or steel evolution. Both of these make sense because of this whole balance idea, but it's also a prime opportunity to give these two types an evolution when normally they might be a little bit harder to incorporate into a mammalian Pokemon like Eevee. I think most people agree that if Pokemon were to run long enough that eventually we'd see an evolution of every type, and I think this would be as good a chance as any to give these two types the evolution spotlight. I could also see this sort of scenario happening with Sylveon where we get something new to counterbalance it, but in the opposite direction where Sylveon has the advantage, and that's why I think a dragon type evolution is a legitimate possibility. This is a very similar situation to what happened in Gen 2, where a new type was introduced, Dark, to balance out a type that was previously overpowered, Psychic. They then decided to show off this brand new type with an evolution in Umbreon, but then also made an evolution for the rival Psychic type in order to counterbalance it, and honestly, the exact same thing has been happening since Gen 6. We got the fairy type introduced to balance out the dragon type, we got the fairy type evolution, now we just need that dragon type evolution to balance it out and we'll be all set. This is another prime opportunity to give an evolution to a type that normally might be a bit harder to incorporate, and given that Gen 8 seemingly will have a region based somewhere in Europe, and Europe has a lot of dragon based folklore, it just seems like the stars could be aligning perfectly for a dragon type evolution in Generation 8. Now really quickly before we get to the last two, I wanted to touch briefly on the recent rumor of a flying type evolution and the possibility of that happening. As far as I'm aware, that rumor has basically already been debunked, but even still, a lot of people got on board with the idea of a flying type evolution once this rumor started circulating. However, even if this rumor hadn't already been debunked, I don't think it would happen for Gen 8. As I said before, the evolution types are all carefully balanced with one another, and many of them have counterparts that give them all their own advantages and disadvantages when compared to each other, and at this point, flying doesn't really fit in with all of that. Yeah, you could say it would be weak to Jolteon and have that connection, but that would just seem like a coincidence more than anything. On top of that, there isn't really any logical reason to add a flying type right now. You know Game Freak isn't just going to pick a random type off the drawing board and make it happen, so what would be the actual reason for adding a flying type right here, right now? I personally don't see one, but if you guys can think of something, let me know in the comments below. And for our last two picks, I actually have the possibility of a pair of evolutions. I honestly think this is less likely than just one evolution getting introduced, because of the whole Sylveon thing, and just for the simple fact that it personally would seem like a bit too much at this point to have two more evolutions, but even still, I do recognize it as a possibility. And if this were to happen, I believe it would make the most sense to do it with a rock and fighting type evolution. I discussed this possibility in my 5 predictions for Pokemon Switch video, but as a pair, I think Rock and Fighting make the most sense because A, it's a similar type pairing to the last pair of evolutions, Leafeon and Glaceon, B, they counteract each other as I've been talking about, and C, they both fit in very well with the rest of the evolutions, with both of them having basically the same number of type advantages and disadvantages amongst the Eevee family. I personally think the other options I talked about are more likely at this point, but to me this is the most likely pair of evolutions we could possibly see in Generation 8. 
And there we have it. I'm really hoping we actually do get a new evolution for the next generation of Pokemon, because every time we do, it creates such a fun amount of excitement and hype in the community that's always so much fun to experience every time it happens. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like and let me know in the comments what evolutions you think are most likely and which ones you'd just like to see in general. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe for more Pokemon content every week and more Pokemon Switch content as we get closer to an official announcement. Anyways, with all of that being said, I will be back with another video very soon, so until then, as always, I will smell you guys later.